Same. Developing this morning, a McDonald's manager is fighting for her life after officers say another employee shot her at work. CBS 46's Madeline Montgomery is live at that fast food restaurant with what police say led up to all of this. Madeline. Megan, I actually just wrapped up speaking with a man from McDonald's corporate who says that this is just really a tragic situation and hard on all the employees who work out of here. And that's actually why the restaurant is closed. It's so that employees have time to process what exactly happened. He said that the general manager here is beloved. She's been here for three years. He said she's known as Sweetie Pie, Honey Bun. She's just a kind soul. And they're also upset about the suspect himself. They say that he did work here. He was a little younger and that the general manager actually would help take care of him. She even would do his laundry for him when he needed help with that. And so they're saying it's really just a shocking and tragic situation. And that McDonald's corporate employee also told me that right now the general manager is at Grady Hospital and she is not doing the best, but she's doing better than she was. So they do believe she is going to recover from this incident. So here's some of the details that Atlanta police shared with us. This all happened yesterday afternoon. They say that the shooter got into an argument with his manager and was asked to leave. And that's when APD says he came back with a gun and shot her in the parking lot before driving off. And police are looking for the gunman. And the McDonald's employee tells me that he was on foot. And this is one of a number of fast food shootings that we've actually covered in the last few months. Months. Uh, we've had other shootings at a South Fulton and DeKalb County McDonald's, and there was also a shooting involving an employee at Taco Bell, and police say that none of these shootings are connected. And again, as of now, the police are still looking for the suspect, and you're asked if you do have any information about where he could be to contact Atlanta police or call Crime Stoppers to give an anonymous tip. Reporting live in Atlanta, I'm Madeline Montgomery with with CBS 46 News. All right, an update there with some new details this hour. Madeline, thank you.